so in this video, we are going to be watching me create the royal family of Selva Dorada, and you guys will also get to learn about their family as well. Just kind of basically what I did with the royal family of Glimmerbrook, the last video that I posted. So I'm just so excited because I love doing these like different families and everything. I do have a lot of notes on my phone, so I'm reading from my phone most of the notes. Um, but so this royal family is the, the so I had to download the mod that lets you turn a destination world into a livable world. So I'll put that mod in the description below as well. Unfortunately, when you, and I mentioned this in the episode 100 of the Royal Family, I when you like are playing from that family and you leave the lot and come back, your house turns into nothing. Like all the furniture's gone, all the doors are gone and all the windows are gone. So it kind of stinks. And then you have to like download it again from the gallery. Like you're just gonna have to keep download or keep saving and updated version of your home in your library. So that kind of stinks. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get to play with them because of that issue. Because I don't want that to happen and I don't want a lot of issues to arise from that too. So anyway, but yeah, so this is the royal family of Selva Dorada, which is really cool. I'm so excited because it's a beautiful world. It's so amazing. So they actually do have a lot of family members that live around them. Like his sister has a family that lives nearby and then also his mother, I think is still alive. I'll have to double check about that. Um, but they do live around kind of like in Sulani, how their family kind of lives around them too because they're like the prestigious family. It's not like in the other worlds where the Dukes and Duchess are like completely different families that might be related to them. Them, but we don't know. Um, so that is a little bit different. But for Salvadorada, so I know the world is originally supposed to be inspired by like Mayan culture because they have like all the Mayan ruins around. But as you can see, I have Afghan and I also have some Egyptian elements as well because the palace is actually like very similar to like an Egyptian palace. I might make some changes to it because it just doesn't feel very like cozy. I don't know. I, I might make some changes, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But it's still really cool. Obviously, I just, this is what I can work with, guys. This is the custom content I can work with. There's really not that much African or Mayan inspired custom content out there at all. I'm just so limited, unfortunately, but it still turned out really cool. And I think their outfits are so cool. They actually have a lot of steampunk inspired outfits. So I know that's really different and very strange because it doesn't match like them at all. But I just thought it was so cool. Like I thought that it would be cool just to have something very different for their outfits. Like I didn't think it had to be like dedicated to this one specific culture. So I just thought it was so cool. Like their outfits, I feel like it fits them perfectly. Like some of their outfits, especially their cold weather outfits, it has like all this fur and it kind of looks like a hunter. Like it's just so cool. I love it so much. So I will show you guys more of their kingdom in season two of the royal family. We might actually do some episodes that are dedicated to each specific royal family. But this right here is King Cayman. I forgot to say that. So this is the king, King Cayman. So he wants to be, you guys are about to see, yeah, he wants to be a friend of the world. He's athletic, he's a genius, and he is ambitious. So I know all of our kings and queens kind of have been like really good and really fit for it. And I know that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you have terrible people. We might have that in the future. I've had that in the past, which I will still Still work on posting a history of Windenburg video for you guys. I'm so sorry that I haven't. I've just kind of been distracted by this. So I'm just excited to show you guys and I'm sure we'll have some flawed kings and oh yeah I, for, I put a Q at the end of his name. I changed that later but um, we have definitely I'm sure we will have some flawed kings and queens in the future but this right here is his younger brother Jabari. So this is Prince Jabari. So Jabari is Cayman's younger brother. He got his heart broken very recently. His ex-fiance cheated on him so he ended up breaking off the engagement but Jabari and Cayman are very close so Cayman told Jabari like you should live with us like while you're recovering like you don't need to live with our sister right now I feel like she's just gonna give you a, like a lot of stress and all that so just live with us and you should be fine like it'll be okay so I think that with Jabari he is just he's really sweet and he's just going a lot with this breakup. Jabari, you guys will see his aspiration is to find his soulmate. He is family oriented, he's a geek, and he's creative. So also all of these sims are gonna be uploaded to my gallery as well under the hashtag MiraRayRoyals or my origin ID, which is the real MiraRay. So you guys can download them as well. So with Prince Jabari, so he's actually a young adult. He's the younger brother. So he is currently single, but he's just going through a lot. He's going through a breakup. His girlfriend or ex, oh sorry, ex fiance still lives in the world. So we'll probably end up seeing her around, but he's not the biggest fan of her right now. And none of the Royal family is a big fan of her right now. So it's just difficult, but 
As I said, also in the Glimmer Brook cast video, I am working on adding all this custom content to my Pinterest board. I didn't want to add it to my Pinterest board yet because I didn't want to give away that I was adding Asian inspired and African inspired royal families to the series because I have a lot of you guys who follow my Pinterest board. So I ended up getting a Tumblr and I ended up downloading most of this from Tumblr because if you follow Lana, Lana CC finds, she has grouped like different tags. Like she has African inspired CC and then like different Asian inspired CC and like all like so many tags of different things like that she categorizes things in. So that's where I found most of this. And I reblogged that on my Tumblr and I will work on adding it to my Pinterest board, but I probably, it might take a while to do that. I would definitely work on that for you guys. But if you cannot wait, then I will put my Tumblr in the description below. I think it's Mira Ray blog, I think is my Tumblr, uh, but you guys can double check in the description below. So yeah, if you can't wait, you can get most of it from there. My Tumblr I made so I can post the character descriptions of the royal family of for the next season so people who are new will be able to follow it so that's where i'm planning on posting like the character descriptions and everything so you guys will get to see that on there and i'll, I'll share that a little bit more once i do the next episode of the royal family of the season two and i'm so excited to do that um okay so this right here is queen samora zamora queen zamora so she is king cayman's wife so she grew up as the most beautiful and unattainable girl and Salvadorada doesn't actually really have have arranged marriages like their parents are more focused on their children being happy and like obviously they can still disapprove of someone who is like just has a bad reputation or who's not nice or who's disrespectful so they can still not approve of those kinds of sims if for some reason they ended up like dating or marrying one of them but they are not about like look you need to marry someone and we're gonna pick someone from you because they have to come from this prestigious family or they have to be a prince or a princess so they're not like that as much as like the Windenburg royal family and Oasis Springs and all those other royal families are so they're much more focused on their kids being happy which does great things for your relationship with your parents so she was not in arranged marriage the king was not in an arranged marriage at all they grew up like around each other and King Cayman always had like the biggest crush on her growing up but Zamora was always tired of people treating her like a prize to be won kind of like Princess Jasmine from Aladdin she's always tired of people treating her like a prize to be won but Cayman was the first person to treat her like treat her like an actual regular human being with like having intelligent conversations with her and like challenging her and all this stuff so they just got along so well and she felt like she was like very respected by King Cayman so that's why they ended up falling in love it took a while because she was very on guard like she of course was used to people always treating her like a prize to be won so once she realized like her and Cayman were more like friends first and she was very kind of like on guard like she didn't she wasn't the nicest person when she first started talking to him and then she eventually warmed up and they were friends and then they ended up falling in love or Cayman was always in love with her but Zamora ended up falling in love with him and she was like okay with the fact that she would become queen of Selva Dorada so and she makes a beautiful queen guy she's amazing she's so gorgeous I love her so much so she is just like a really good fit for Cayman and they are so in love they get along really well and they're like equally matched so Cayman kind of lets her help like rule Selva Dorada but as I also mentioned in episode 100 Selva Dorada they also try to stay isolated like Glimmerbrook because Selva Dorada and Glimmerbrook I imagine are very close to each other so they also had sims disappearing in Selva Dorada and they couldn't like they they know the emperor and empress of Glimmerbrook and they've kind of gotten into arguments with them like what is going on they don't know about the magical realm really but they've like tried to kind of look into it like kind of tell Emperor Zhao and Empress Mei Lin to like look into it and they, Emperor, the Emperor and Empress, they tried to like hide it and they don't want them to find out about the magical realm. So they kind of were putting it off and that's why the King and Queen of Silver Grotto were getting so frustrated with them. So they've tried to stay isolated too. Of course, now that they've met King Jared and all them, they're probably going to meet them. They're just gonna try to stay under the radar as much as possible. You guys can also follow my magical realm series, my Ma realm of magic series with Corinne. So hopefully she'll find a way to make people stop disappearing and then they can actually like get to know all the other royal families because I do want them to get 
get to know all the other royal families. So it'll just be a thing, but I'm so excited for like more like adventures and stuff too. I had someone comment and tell me that they prefer like how I had like the little short scene in the beginning of the 100th episode of the royal family. They said they, they would probably like honestly probably prefer most like the episodes to be like that like they'd enjoy it like that i like it'd be really cool and i totally i totally understand that because there's like a lot more depth and you get to see like their reactions and it's not just me talking so i understand but i those take a really long time like longer than you would think they take a lot of work to edit and i love being able to play and talk to you guys too i don't want to just be like editing videos like that because a lot of why i enjoy this is like playing like this and like talking, not to you guys, cause I'm talking to a camera, but like you guys respond in comments. So I enjoy that so much, but I will try to do those short scenes as much as possible in like beginnings of episodes or maybe I'll like post it as its own video. I'll try to do that as much as possible to kind of like please both sides of people. I can't please everyone, I apologize, but I, I understand why they would want, they like enjoy that more. And I'll try to do that more, I just like, can't because I, I wouldn't be able to cover as much story because like the like I would only be able to focus on like like it'd be easy if I had like one family to focus on then I could do more stuff like that but I don't like I have so many royal families so that's kind of why it's a little bit more difficult but I will try to post those short scenes and all that a little bit more but anyway okay so Queen Zamora so she is an animal lover I oh, sorry yeah you guys just missed that because I was talking um, but Zamora is an animal lover she's actually materialistic and she is an insider and a vegetarian because she loves animals so much. So that's Queen Zamora. So this right here is their oldest son. So they actually have two boys. So this is their oldest, Prince Adric, and he is actually like, it's like a whiz kid, like a super genius. So he's very, very smart. He is very, just like loves to read. Also just like, I feel like he also wants to know why people are disappearing because he knows that people have disappeared. He doesn't know why. And I mean, his parents don't really know why either. So since he's gonna become the king of Salvador, I'm sure that he will be a lot more pushy and like look into why people are disappearing more than like his parents are. Like his parents kind of ended up backing off, but they're still kind of irritated and just ended up isolating themselves. But I feel like he wouldn't do that. I feel like he would want answers. I feel like he'd want to like try to figure all that stuff out too. So he's definitely a lot more pushy. He's also more of a genius. I don't know why his eyebrows came out blonde too. Like that was really weird to me. Um, So yeah, that's Prince Adric. So he's the oldest. So they, yeah, they have two boys. I don't know yet if I'm going to have them have more children because there's already so many Sims. And I don't actually know if that's a reason why I had the glitch where it deleted my Sims. So I I don't know, guys. I, I might have them have more. In that case, I'm gonna have to delete like other Sims if there's just like too many in the world. Cause I, I know there's a limit for how, also I was like looking for a name, that's why it's frozen so much. Um, But I know that there's a limit for how many Sims you can play. I didn't realize there was a limit for just like Sims in the world. So hopefully I'm not making too many because that would be a problem if so. We're gonna get to have like just so many Sims that it's going to be just really, really hard to control. I think we're gonna need like, I don't know, I'm gonna need to figure out some way for a lot of them to disappear or something. I know that sounds so horrible, but I think we're gonna need to cut the population down a little bit at some point if it keeps continuing like this. So anyway, yeah, I was just like a little bit worried about that. But this is their youngest son. So this is Prince Elon. So he's a toddler. So yeah, they have two boys. Debating on if we should add more. I don't think so. I think they're just gonna have the two boys. I don't think they need a lot of kids. But I also, King came in, he's a adult. He's middle-aged, so I don't know. But by the time the kid ends up being like a child, he's probably gonna end up being like an elder or something like that. Cause him and Zamora had kids a little bit later. So that's why, but yeah. So this is Prince Elon. This is their youngest. So Elon, I don't even know if I ended up picking anything for his personality. There's not that many personalities to choose from from toddler. I was just kind of thinking of him as like play full and silly and I don't know if him and his brother are really gonna get along. I feel like it's definitely going to be like more of a sibling thing. Cause I've had a lot of siblings in the royal families like get along really great. But with them, I don't, I, I think they might be the siblings that don't get along. Also, I do have the siblings that don't get along, the twins of Glimmerbrook, the Araminta and Anya. So they don't get along at all. 
but I also might have them not get along. I don't know, we'll see. We'll kind of see, we'll get to follow them and it'll be really, really cool. So yeah, so that's the end of them. So they are actually uploaded on the gallery. I think I, I think I already said that. Um, so yeah, they're under the hashtag Mirror Ray Royal. So you guys will get to see these screenshots of them. I love the way they turned out, you guys. They look so cool. So yeah, it's King Cayman and then Prince Jabari and then yeah, the rest of the royal family too. So we'll get to follow them and their story. So let me know in the comments below what you think and who your like favorite new character is so far. I would love to know. And I know a lot of you guys have been like asking questions Questions and I will try to answer them in my comments as much as possible. I think I'm going to be making a Discord group for you guys too that I probably won't be able to participate in as much. I can only participate in my Patreon one, but I will make one for you guys so that way if you guys want to talk and like answer each other's questions and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible too. But yeah, I, I might do that. So if I do, I'll make an announcement on my community post. So definitely be on the lookout for that and then I'll make an announcement in one of my future videos. But guys, okay, so I'll be posting the next video will be the first episode of our Magical Realm series, which I'm so excited to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>